guys. Okay, this is outstanding. Should I watch the brand new Bill Schultz versus Kevin Brennan fight, or do we start with the Kevin Brennan Dave Landau fight? This is wild. Now, I haven't seen this. I kind of want to see the Bill Schultz fight. This is breaking news. What do you say? Do you want to see the brand new Bill Schultz fight? Let's check this out. It's from Chad Zmook. This guy's got to be nuts. Kevin Brennan confronts Bill Schultz. So Kevin Brennan is a mess right now. Remember, he started with a couple weeks ago. I want to quit compound media. They don't value me. I want two days a week. They want to give me any show. Now, before we go into any of this, I got to preface this shit with Kevin Brennan is crazy. Okay. Now, we're going to be on his side during all of this. This guy's got the right instincts. Does he know how to deliver them in a proper way? Uh, absolutely not. So nobody here thinks that this is a good, sane man. I mean, he works for Compound Media. But Kevin's instincts are that uh, Keith's a piece of shit, the Count's a bad guy, Dave Landau sucks, Bill Schultz sucks. So we want to support that. Kevin has a home here. So from here on out, we are Team Kevin, okay? But don't take it so literal. You know, I saw some people in the comment section, I don't know, I want to be on Brennan's side, but, uh, you know, he seems a little... Yeah, you, of course! He's nuts! All these people are shit. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> All right? This is just we're watching these fools. But we are on Brennan's side. We love Brennan. Let's show him some support. Get on Twitter. Because he is getting uh, whooped around, you know, all these guys. The thing about Brennan is he doesn't really have any supporters or fans. People think they like him, but when it comes to this Dave Landau world, people love Dave Landau now. People love Bill Schultz for some reason. And uh, they're actually defending Bill and uh, Landau. Treating Brennan like shit. You know, Brennan has no support. I say that's where we come in. You know, like, uh, what do they call those kind of troops that Mountain saw that just sit around until there's a big emergency? The Coast Guard. We come in, we say, Brennan, that's the right thing to do. Okay, and that's what I want to do. You treat him like gold. And uh, he's got a lot of secrets. He doesn't know how to close his mouth. So let's get him to reveal those secrets. This is brand new. I've never seen this. Kevin Brennan confronts Bill Schultz. Now, Bill Schultz has been antagonizing. Kevin Brennan on Twitter. You know, Bill Schultz dipped his toe into this uh, yelling at Kevin Brennan on Twitter. He was like, uh, well, yeah, if you're such a tough guy, which we love around here, why don't you come on my show on Monday? And then he realized Kevin Brennan's not really saying anything back on Twitter, so he got this confidence. He started going after more. Oh, you know, one thing me and JoJo hate, hypocrites! And it's like, settle down, Bill. Okay, you'd be shaking if Kevin, Kevin Brennan put his full wrath onto you the way he did Lando, which we're going to watch in a bit. So this is interesting. Let's see what happens here. It looks like they're at a bar, poorly lit bar. It looks like Bill Schultz has a hat on, which I've never seen before, which is cool. Um, And uh, we'll see where this goes. This is brand new. It's breaking one hour ago. Here we go. Okay, let me flip it around. Yeah. What are you about to do? Oh my God. To confront Bill. Wow. So this is Kevin Brennan. Look, they put the Kevin Brennan is wearing a bicycle helmet. It looks like this is Neil Brennan's brother, the writer of the female mind with Whitney Cummings. You should all rent that movie. It is a recent discovery in 1999. The female mind. The woman's mind puts on more dopamine than the man's. So here he is. Kevin Brennan. He's at a bar. They go, what are we going to do? He goes, I'm going to confront Bill Schultz. He's wearing a bicycle helmet, so that's what that black strap is. Don't uh, mistake that for some new type of beard he's growing, okay? He'd never do that. I'm about to confront Bill Schultz. Because he said anything at the bar? Yeah, I, I think he's an alcoholic, and I want it's like an intervention. This is my wife. Uh, and he is alcoholic. A unless he's lying about drinking, you know, they start drinking on that morning show four days a week, and then they go to the bar afterwards. 12 p.m. Who goes to a bar? Can you imagine going to a bar at 12 p.m.? And they sit and they drink and they drink and they drink till nothing's left and then they go home and conk. That's what they do. 
And if you think that stops on Friday just because there's no compound show, you're crazy. So these guys are alcoholics. And now Kevin's, you know, Kevin picks up on that. Why do these people got to be alcoholics? He's going to the bar to confront Bill Schultz. Way of helping. It's like an intervention. Yeah, I'm going to try to ask him to stop. I don't think he should drink so much by himself. <laughs> this is great. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Hey, hey there, buddy. Are you going to videotape this before we actually talk? Boy, that is a horrible laugh. Okay, see, this is why I think it's real. I don't think all these people are good actors, uh, good enough actors. I don't think they would do these little subtleties to notice the camera, then be surprised by it, say a bunch of, you know, wow, look at this guy. Holy fuck. What a sleaze ball. He looks like an American movie. Hard for you guys to see a little dark there. He's got very long hair. He's wearing a very big coat. He's got a very long mustache like a samurai. Holy fuck. All right, let's see what happens. I'm very excited. Joe, Joe, nice. How are you? How are you? Pleasure. Hi. Right. I'm going to get to you. You are here. We want to come up. No, we're out. Hi, Miss Joe. She would have uh, loved to talk to you. I, I would love to talk to you. Tired of me. She's going to have so many drinks. How you doing, buddy? Good. Ooh. Good. How are you? Wearing a helmet in case uh, shit goes down. Well, I'm not that much of a fighter. Sure. Yeah. You God, you hey. Giggle yeah. McGee. You going to join us? Put your, put your Look at this loser. You're just hanging out at a dirty dive bar? During the middle of the day, Kevin Brennan's on his messenger bike. Why is Kevin Brennan biking? That's kind of nuts to be that old and you're on a bike in the winter in New York City. I think to ride a bike in New York City is crazy, no matter who you are. You know, why would you want to do something that dangerous? That's what Kevin Brennan's doing. I had no idea. Unless he's just wearing that helmet because he actually thinks there's going to be a fight. And it's a smart move. Wear a little styrofoam helmet there. So look at Bill Schultz, and you're really seeing, he's like a, a real sleaze. A real drunk sitting at this Lawrence Arms type bar. Let's check this out. See yourself in the camera as well. Oh, I was already on there. It's on my page. No, so we'll I do know. A show. I'll do no, a show. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, yes. well, you can record this. Here's the deal. Uh -oh. um, I fucked up. Whoa. Record this. I got a co-host now. So when you said we all you said, wasn't really happy about it. But Joanne is my co-host. I did not ask her. He's drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> He's got some confidence here. He's really reminding me of, like, Shameless. You seen the show Shameless? William H. Macy, is that the guy? That's what he's acting like. Sitting at that daytime bar where it is. You know some guy's a drunk when he's wearing his winter coat at the bar. Drinking in a winter coat. Why don't you put that on the stool? No coat check at this bar? There's no place to hang your coat. You're going to drink in a winter coat all day with a hat. When I asked you to come on, and that I fucked up on, because Joanne wants nothing to do with you. Whoa. I would love to have you on, but so she Joanne doesn't want to. She me on. Wanted, Well, but here's the reason. Because. Um, this is awesome. You know, you technically a co worker. You just asked for her tits to be up on the uh, table and her to shut the fuck up. Whoa. That's what you did. So I don't blame Joanne when she doesn't want you on. A, I would, I want you on. She was on. offended by that? I know. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? And I love that he fact that he said that uh, two minutes after he was uh, upset with Lando, uh, saying he's going to fuck his 18-year-old daughter. Uh, Joanne's the same age as your daughter. Sorry, I'm just letting this play for a little bit. I've never seen this one before. I want to catch it all. Yeah, it's the same age as your daughter. So this nigga really tripping, huh? This is a drunk. This is daylight. And I love that he fact that he said that uh, two minutes after he was uh, upset with Lando, uh, saying he's going to fuck his 18-year-old daughter. Uh, Joanne's the same age as your daughter. Uh, rough. Look at Brennan. Um, so, yeah, Brennan's no. face is bright as Brennan's just sitting there like this. Holy fuck. This guy's fucking crazier than me. This is going to be easy. But again, hypocrisy and comedy. Oh, she's like 30. Um, she's 30, right? No, nah, she's 29. She could be your daughter, you old ass motherfucker. Whoa! I'm saying, I'm saying. This guy is so similar to James P. Fritz. Remember my old cause? James Fritz! Same voice, same drunkenisms, same little uh, sideways little comments that he doesn't really have the confidence to fully say while looking at you, but he'll throw them in right at the end. Ah! 
Same type of dude. I had no idea. I thought Bill Schultz had it a little bit more together than this. This is nuts. James P. Fritz. I don't know if his middle name starts with P. You know, I don't know if his last name is Fritz. Could be Whirl. W-H-R-I-L. Just a nutty name. Uh, but I want to see this. I want to watch this tape. Here we go. Look at Shoals. We got a Lucia. Democracy and comedy. Oh, she's like 30. Um, she's 30, right? No, nah, she's 29. She could be your daughter, you old ass motherfucker. Yeah, old ass motherfucker. I'm saying Kumia fans want to see tits more than they want to hear a woman talk. That's all. She loved that. She was a big fan of that That's statement. Just my, yeah. my object, objective uh, well, take Well, sure it was an objective take. I have women take. on the show. They, the fans get when are When have you ever had a woman on the show? I don't yeah, think I women want to be in the same room with you. I had Whoa. a tranny one time. All right, so that's his answer. So, all right, what if you had a woman that doesn't have a dick on your show? I've had women. I don't want to name because they'll get trolled again. I'm they'll saying they'll get trolled because I'm they've been on they your show. That's see, a problem. They don't want to see a woman talk. They Sit want to down, see buddy. women. Let me buy you a drink. Whoa. No, I gotta go. Oh. Do you see what Bill Schultz said? Sit down, buddy. Let me buy you a drink. He's crazy. I love this Schultz shit. It took a long time to get Schultz into the Red Bar universe. You know, it started months ago. I watched every ep. Every ep praying for a day like today where he's worthy enough to grace my screen. Oh, yeah. This guy fucking rules. And he doesn't deserve this. And he doesn't know what he wants to be. And he's one second away from the edge. He's about to break. Uh, <laughs> I'm like taking my time with this video because it's so, so, so good. Uh, let's rewind that. I want to see where he goes. Sit down, buddy. Boom. Hits the hits the uh, the bar, you know. He actually pulls up a seat to the bar. Kevin Brennan walked in on him. He's alone, just chatting it up with the bartender. Ah, oh, yeah, just got done taping my show. Yeah, tape down the street. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, oh, you know, shit like that. While the bartender works and pretends she cares. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Sandy. Throws down a five. Stumbles home. I'm They'll saying, get trolled because I'm they deny they the show. That's a see, problem. They don't want to see a woman talk. They want to see women naked. Let me buy you a drink. No, I gotta go. Oh, shut the fuck up. Sit down. Oh, I'm shut the fuck up. Not sit, no, I'm, I'll we'll hatch it on the air. But, but so Joanne. Oh, well, oh he wants to waste his material here. No, Joanne <laughs> won't do the show. She won't do it. Shut up. And I'll No matter it. what. And I felt like a dick because I. That's a lie. See, now Bill is hiding behind this Joanne, Joanne Chukachinsky. Pretending because he called out Kevin. He goes, why don't you come on my show? Kevin's like, I'll do it any time, any day. And then Bill's like, fuck, this is going to be terrible. And then Joanne goes, oh, I don't want him on. That's a pretty good Joanne. Uh, you know, now he's going to hide by me. Sorry, man. Joanne won't do it. I'd love to have you on so I could skill you. Joanne won't do it. You know how it is. You know, you could still make it happen. Just convince her. She's a bartender. How about you have her sit home that day? This is bigger. I did. I was an asshole. You can say this. I was an asshole because I trolled you a little bit on Twitter because I was like, you going to say this, say this to my face. I didn't talk to her first. She don't want you in the fucking studio. So that's why I told why? Allie. because she found out, she saw what I said. You're or she a lived. prick. And you were, you were a fucking massages asshole to her. Like, come after me. Don't come after her. All See? right. She's new. She's four days in. She's now she's been on hiding behind that. Who gives a shit? This girl is a, uh, a pageant star. You know, she should be able to handle this shit. If she could handle the pageant world, believe me, she can handle a lot. That's like being a prostitute, a known hooker. Being in the pageant world. You know how dirty that world is? You know how greasy that is? She was a woman who walked around the Fox News studios in a purple dress. She'll be fine. Imagine the conversations that Madden must have had with her at that Fox News office. With her in those dresses. You know, she'll be okay. This is just Kevin Brown and nobody should be worried about it. He's on the TV for years. She's new to compound and she didn't think that some burn victim looking guy like Whoa. you uh, was going to go after her for no other reason than you just wanted to fuck. If it. Kevin Brennan is a burn victim looking guy, what does that make the count? Whoops. <laughs> I mean, what is the count? Completely burned and just ash? You know, I, I don't understand why Kevin Brennan looks like a burn victim. Well, what does that make the count? You know, 
Very, very troubling. The Count was also on Bill Schultz this week. And we got a side view of him. Very, very lizard-like. And boy, did the Count not know how to fit him. We might have to watch a couple clips from that. They were talking about fashion. They were talking about all this stuff. They had all these gays on, all these pro-black people. Kumio was not having it. He just sat there like this. <laughs> oh, oh, this show's on my network. Huh? What do I do? With that fucking slimy lizard little dickhead of his. It was disgusting. So look at Brennan. Brennan's got a little smile. I'm like, man, this is easy. I thought this was actually going to be some sort of a problem. It's pretty easy. In morning show for four days a week versus your sad, what is it, one day a week? Yeah, Whoa! Is, uh, um, can you well, imagine you a world where, like, they think they're cooler because they have four days a week? You know, Compound is really turning into, like, a small college, like a cool school of kids that all fight with each other. And Kumi is too much of a wuss to, uh, you know, break any of this up. I love it. All the Compound House fighting with each other now. This is wonderful. So, but now that's what they do. Oh, yeah, you got your shot. What do you do? One day wing? Oh, yeah, I do four. So, so. Like, could you imagine, you know, your compound green screen show where you have to work as a bartender in order to supplement your income? You're going to be bragging about that. Oh, yeah, what do you do? You do one show? I got to hear that again. That's a sickness. So they're all fighting, like infight, like they have their own little universe. Uh, I was going to go after her for no other reason than you just run a fucking morning show for... Four days a week versus your sad, what is it, one day a week? Yeah, this, uh... You all work for Kumia. Are you out of your mind? What do you do? Oh, you do one? Oh, yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah, I do four for Mr. Kumia. You do one for him. Does Kumia, you know, yeah, cause I love Kumia. Are you guys insane? Start your own networks, please, all of you. Um, and you're going to hear Dave Landau's going to do the same thing. They all kind of suck up to Mr. Kumia, and they all want to be like Kumia's favorite now. Mr. Kumia. Ooh. Look at Kevin. He's getting mad. We're only halfway through this tape. I hope you like this tape. This is brand new. Check this out. Um, look, come after me. You can come after me all you want. So I can't. So you and can... by the way, he wanted us to get rid of all of our guests that he came out on Tuesday. I am saying to you, I will come on your show, put on all the people that hate me, all of them. I don't give a shit. So you I will come on his. I can't do your show. She can come on my show. I mean, so you, you can what, come I'll on my I'll, show. I'll you. What I'll do is I'll tell her to take a day off and then come on my no, show. No, no, you, no. No, no, You come on my show yes, on a Monday. I'm in. I'm yeah. game. Next Monday, you do my I show. I told Allie to tell you that I would come on your show. Yeah, but Allie's like, I don't want to get involved anymore. Well, uh, that's kind of her job. She's got wow. uh, She can. I know, but it was the weekend. She's like, I'm ah, in. I will yeah. go on your All show. Right. Have as many people that hate me as you want. Right. And by the way, he wanted all the people on my show off when he came on. If he was going to do it on Tuesday. That's because for the I thought, record. I thought you'd have like five people going like, yeah, you're an asshole. No, yeah. they're fucking... I've seen Red Eye. I know how you guys gang up on people. Red Eye? This True. is not Red Eye. Aren't you the Red Eye guy? I'm the Red Eye guy, but how do we gain up on people? No, it was like if you don't the same if you don't you have all these friends that they don't agree the with you. Sensitive motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. No, they don't no, agree no with one was gonna gain up on you. But he said he wouldn't want any of our guests on. He would just do it with me and Joanne. Yeah, that's well Joanne fair. ain't having it. I'm having it. Um, no, I, I will come you... on your show. He can have as many people on that hate me and just destroy me. I will come on. He so will Oh my god. It? I'm no, in. I, I will I'm come in. on. I said uh We'll shake on This it. is wonderful. I'm in. I said, I'm absolutely in. No, I said, I said, uh, uh, I said, I, I want to bring my crew. If if uh, if, it were, if I wasn't the only guest, I want to bring my crew. Shit. I want I want to bring my blind sidekick in case shit. Okay, went down. I'm not bringing any of my crew. Let's have that on record. That's pathetic. I'm not bringing any of my crew. You can destroy me all you want. I'm on. I'm this Monday. is wonderful. All right. All right. All right. All right. We, we made it happen. Yeah. This Monday. Bill Schultz. Sweeps weeks. <laughs> oh, now they're pretending that they're friends. I don't like any of that. That was a good end. <laughs> Okay, they're walking. Kevin is walking out of the bar oh, now, I'm leaving Bill a, oh, at the dive oh, bar. Let's see what happens. There's still some tape like, left here, though. Going down. They're getting concerned. Good, good. It's called New York. Be concerned. Well, wait. So, how uh, can you do? I, do you have to give it to me? I have to share it, or you can send it to me? Um, you, I, I could take it off my page and share it on your page. So yeah. Now they're discussing how they're going to get this video up, which is boggling Kevin's mind. How do we get the video off the phone? We got to go to Radio Shack or something. Share it on my page and then I'll share it, right? 
Okay. Well, we'll just see how it looks, whatever. Yeah. Hashtag me and then Instagram it to the Who's Snapchat this nerd? and then put it on Grinder. Some other and then nerd. Put it back on MySpace. Oh, and Grindr. Facebook that was the Grinder joke because that's so funny. Why? Because faggots? Because a homosexual slang and cock? Is that why Grinder is such a hysterical concept to these people? And then do, uh, do, uh, um, I'm drinking, Chad. Just, just do it a way that I can put it on my day okay, drinkers. I'll, on my laptop and I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. I'll send the link to you. Fuck the boys in HR. This Let's is the count the staff. I'll, I'll send the link to you to put on your page. Wait, wait. Put it on, I'll put it on my page. Yeah, yeah put it on my page. Facebook. How do I get it on yeah, my I don't page? Facebook Live it on my thing because then if, it, if it's like not, if it ended. I, I thought it would be dull. It was actually end up being pretty good. Yeah, I thought he he, he seemed pissed though. No, that's why I didn't know if he was gonna. Well, well this is good. evidence. The, the, this is good evidence. Yeah, we can use. Yeah, don't lo don't lose that. All right. What happened? How did, I mean, whatever. Well, well, he, he, Bill Schultz got a little. He he told he was pretty annoyed with okay. Kevin. Because now they're all talking smack about Bill Schultz. They're at the other end of the bar. Bill Schultz is sitting there alone, wallowing, going, "Ow, oh, fuck! Is this tape gonna look bad?" Well, yes, yes, well, yeah. We're out in the streets, folks. This is how it is. Thug life. <laughs> how many drinks did you get? Just one in the water. Uh, are, are you, you leaving? Stick? Yeah. Well, I can I'll walk with you somewhere. I mean, I'm, uh, I have like three hours to go. Well, let's see what else happens. I've never seen this well, tape, so this could be all just tail end nonsense. <laughs> no, this is compelling. Sorry. Let's find um, out. Wait, wait, wait till she's 18. <laughs> uh, no, I have to go to Gala so at 6.30 at the Pier on the Upper, on, uh, on the upper East Side. So okay, the Upper East Side. You always hear people say stuff like yeah, that. It's a joke. Silent auction, that kind of thing. Gala? Okay. No, it's an accent on the second A, but you can still yeah, be recording. Doesn't look like anything happens. Wonderful tape, huh? Round of applause for that. Who sent that? Oh, gotta get my money, bitch. Uh, get it. Uh, bitch, get it now. Make the trick say it feels good, uh! Gotta keep my money, bitch.